Hello folks, alright for this video here I will be making a review for my buddy Georgie from Brazil. Um, I believe he's learning Javanese and he was wondering if I had any resources for this language. And um, yes, I found this book. Very old, I've had it for about 3 or 4 years. Only thing about it, it doesn't come with audio. However, if you've studied Indonesian, Malaysian, those type of languages, uh, you may be able to get away with pronunciation. So, let's get right to it. Javanese, a cultural approach. So, we're going to start with lesson one. Show you this layout. Uh, let me adjust my camera real quick. Alrighty. So situating people. Okay, conversation. Now you see it says a crama. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Two people riding in a minibus strike up a conversation. They are both middle aged. Okay, keep that in mind. Middle aged, and they are wearing good quality clothes. He, uh, Western style trousers and a shirt. She, a Javanese batik skirt and blouse. And as you can see, here's the conversation between Pak Haraja and Bu Marta. So, yeah, that's pretty much in on Pak is sir, and Bu is ma'am, madam, madam. So. Like I said, if you study Indonesian and Malaysian, you may be able to get away with pronunciation despite this book not coming with the audio. So, conversation there. Continuing over. Now, the next conversation. It says, Ngoko. I don't know, for some reason it looks like it's blurry on my end. It says, Ngoko, two young people who grew up in the same village and so know each other well, but who haven't seen each other in a while. Meet riding in a minibus. The sentence corresponds to those in section A above, but sentence 3 and 6C have been modified slightly in view of Maz Jaka's and Mbak and Aniek's prior acquaintance. Obviously, if they did not know each other well, they would not speak Ngoko to each other. So that's a different style of politeness. And then, like before, you have the conversation. Continuing over on the next page. You notice they didn't have the like, English translation under it, but they're just going to say something here about the translations. The translations that follow are of the sentence in Krama. Sentence translations of the conversation in Goku are given only when the sense of the sentence is given in section B differs from that in section A. Uh, let's see. An attempt has been made to indicate the tone of the Javanese phrases rather than to give the closest possible rendering of individual Javanese words or parallel the precise structure of the phrases. Uh, let me see here. Well, these are just some, some examples of pronunciation. Yeah, we have to find the translations here. It's been so long since I used this book. Okay. I think these are the translations to the dialogue. One, two, three, four. Yep, these are all the translations. So it's kind of, that's the only thing. I mean, they don't include it with the dialogue, but I guess there's a, you know, considering that they have so many different ways of speaking, the different styles of speech. Is they have to separate it like this. So at the end of the dialogues, you have to kind of go further to get the translations. Oh, so when will you go back to Jatino? Yeah, these are all translations here. Okay. I want to go further just to show you guys something. Okay, this here. This is a chart. 
Now remember at the beginning you had Ngoko Krama and then you have Krama Andap, Krama Ingil. Those are the different styles of politeness. And see they have vocabulary used under this section and they, they, they don't have a word for it under Krama or Krama Andi, an, an, Andap. And here's another chart. Ngoko, as you can see, if you go across, you have you have Aku, which is Ngoko, and then Kula, which is Krama. They don't have the word for that in the um, what was the other one? And then Krama Antap, they have Dalim, and they don't have a word for it in Krama Ingil. See, that's very, that's very interesting. That's what can make this language complicated because of the um different levels here so yep I was trying to remember the names of these when we spoke about this last night but it's been like I said it's been so long since I've used this book Pac so yep that's just going into lesson two same deal. Krama starting off with Krama. So yeah, it's a pretty thick book. I think it'd be very useful for learning uh, Javanese. It doesn't have audio, but like I said, if you study Indonesian or Malaysian, you 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 should be you may be able to get away with the pronunciation. You may be already able to pronounce a lot of the vocabulary here. So if you're interested in this book, I'll provide the ISBN and description area. Um, and that's it. Uh, that is all I have for Javanese, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for viewing.